Good morning. Today we're going to be going over a passport here, just a general overview of how everything works. It's going to apply to any trailer you're most likely going to get. We're going to start on the outside, go around, show you everything, and then we're going to go inside and show you everything else. So we'll start right here in this first pass-through. Passes all the way through both sides. Down on the other end you can see your power cord. Right inside the door there, there's a light switch. Turn that switch on and off. There's a button right in the center of it that you just press to turn it off or turn it back on. Down below the frame, we have stabilizing jacks. You got them on all four corners. There's a hand crank inside. It's a three quarter inch, so if you want to use a drill or an impact instead of sitting here and cranking, you can just hook onto that and run it down. These are not made to lift or level the system. They're just used for stabilizing. Next we have your awning, it goes all the way down on both sides in the middle here, there's a pivot point. You can just pull down on it and it's going to change the pitch of the awning. Rain runoff, blocking the sun, anything like that. You can do it on either side. But before you run your awning in, just make sure you bring it back up. Right next to this awning arm, we have a connection to hook a hose into. Now this one is for a black tank flush. This goes to the black tank that is going to be a toilet for the front half on this model. So after you dump your black tank, you hook a hose into here and it will go into your black tank and flush it out. Make sure that handle's still open otherwise it's going to come up to your toilet. On the wall outside up top we have two outside speakers. When we get inside I'll show you a little bit more of how those work or how to control them. Entry door, screen door. Your entry door's got a little latch here. You can close it. A slider. And that latches onto the screen door. The steps just fold up. Just like that. And this grab handle, once the door's closed, it just pops up. You can go over. You can go over this way as well. Down the side, we got the two tires. This is our water heater. This particular one runs off 110 or propane. So nothing you should really have to mess with here. This is a pressure release valve. And this is the drain plug down here. We'll go over this more when we do winterizing. A little bit farther down, you have your furnace exhaust, two outside recepts, and then your refrigerator the back side of it. And then we have another tank flush. This is for the half bath back here. Same thing with our steps here and screen door. They're going to be identical. And then we have the half bath in there. Going back we have on this one the outside kitchen. So you got these little slide trays that will pull out for prepping or setting stuff to the side. Little mini fridge. This runs on 110 only, so you do have to be plugged in to use this. Got a little outside sink here. This pops in, turn on the water, hot or cold. To drain it though, you just pull this out, dump it on the ground. And then we have your stove. So we got the stove outside here, it does not have a manual light so you want a lighter. Just turn this all the way to light, press and hold down, and you can let go. So high and you can just bring it on down to low. Same thing with our other burner. And then for putting it away, just push it back, these close in, and this comes down. And this will push in. So, down below <clears throat> is your propane connect for your stove here. You got to make sure you disconnect this before you try and push your outside kitchen in. So this is on, that's off, so you got to turn it off, otherwise it won't let you disconnect it. So you turn it off and pull it out, and it just slides up here. Then you can push it in. It has a little latch here on the side. 
keep it from coming out when you're traveling. And this door is held up with a magnet here. Another rear stabilizer. And then on the back, we got your bumper. It has end caps that come out so you can store a sewer hose in there if you like. And you got turn signals, brake lights, clearance lights, outside shower. So it's going to be the same thing as most of your faucets. You're going to have hot and a cold. little lever here you can turn the water off even though this is still on that's it right there up top there's a black box up there it's pre-wired for a backup camera that one's a furion so you can purchase those it's a plug and play it runs off of bluetooth on the back corner we have our table hookup so if you're going to pay for cable at a campground, it's going to hook into here, and that will go to all your coaxes inside. Again, on the back corner, we have another stabilizer, and then we have a dump. So this dump station here, this is for the half bath that's in the rear half of the trailer. You got a black handle and a gray handle. Black handle means black tank, gray means gray tank. The black handle is going to be the toilet only, so it's going to be all sewer. So. When you hook up your hose, it latches on, you run it down to your sewage, pull your black handle first. You'll hear it when it's done. After that's done, you can close it or do your tank flush, and then you open your gray. What you, the reason you do the gray last is it helps us clean out anything that might be left in the chute or in the hose. In the middle of the two slide outs, we have your power connection. This is a 50 amp power connection. So pulls out most of them almost all of them have a thread on there here so you can thread on around and there's a metal plate in here and there's a metal plate on your plug so you want to line those up it has two little notches that align in here it goes in twist and then you thread it on so it doesn't go anywhere when you're camping coming up the side you got the slide outs tires then you have another dump station so this dump station here is going to be for the front bath and the kitchen. So on this one, the handles aren't different colors, they're different sizes. But there's stickers on the side here that say black and gray. The bigger handle is going to be your black tank, the little one's going to be gray. Same method is going to apply as on the other one, black and then gray. Up here we have our water connections. Fresh water, so this is to fill your onboard storage tank. And city connection, that is going to be for hooking up at a campground. This hose is going to supply everything. And then here, other side of the pass through, and you have the power cord. Up front, we have the tongue jack. This one has a little level on top, so you can raise it up lower it and then you have little side lights that come on on both sides propane just like a gas grill will be at home to the left turns them on to the right all the way to the right shuts them off these ones have gauges on them most of them do not come with gauges so you know when you're low there's a little lever on the side here the longer side so i'm pointing towards the tank towards the camera so i'm running this tank if i switch it I'm running the other tank. What we recommend, even though this one has gauges, is keeping the tank that you're not using off, just as a precaution, so you know when you're out of one tank completely. Then we have a battery here, and a little level up front. That's it for the outside. We'll go inside and see what we have in there.